Hi guys, Stanley here. I'm the co-founder of ValueInvestAsia.com, an investment portal where we give you investment news and also in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you're new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you'll not miss out on any of our new videos. So as we see the stock prices of high-flying tech stock crashing down this year, we are reminded that exciting stock does not always mean good investment. Sometimes boring is good. And today, we're going to talk about one boring business that has more than doubled its revenue over the past five years. You definitely do not want to miss this video. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Seeking Alpha. Seeking Alpha is the largest investment community in the world. Seeking Alpha provides investors with a wealth of information through their database, news, earnings transcript, and also crowdsource analysis. Both personal and professional investors find great investing ideas through Seeking Alpha. I find it extremely useful to keep up to date with companies I am interested in through the platform. And now you can sign up for Seeking Alpha today with more than a 50% discount from your premium membership. So if you want to find out more, remember to check out our link in our show notes below. Now let's get back to our video. Tektronix Industry Company Limited is a fast growing world leader in power tools, accessory, hand tools, outdoor power equipment, and floor care products. It manufactures and distributes all these products worldwide. It basically serves the do-it-yourself or DIY professionals, industrial users for home improvement, repair, maintenance, and construction. Today, the company has operations around the world with its manufacturing factories and also research facility throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. Its latest plan now is to build up its manufacturing facility in the US and Vietnam. In terms of its business, geographically, North America and Europe are its largest customer location. That accounts to about 92% of the revenue from their external customers. Home Depot, the largest home improvement chain store in the US, is their largest sales channel. Home Depot alone accounts for around 47.5% of the company's revenue. No other company contribute more than 10% to its revenue. So the company does have some customer risk associated with Home Depot. And its success is really tied to how well Home Depot can perform and if Home Depot will continue to keep it as a key supplier. In terms of its business segment, Tektronix like to divide it into two key areas, power equipment division and floor care and cleaning division. The power equipment division includes its industrial power tools, accessory, hand tools, storage, layout, and also measuring tools. The vast selection in this division provides a complete line of product for household, construction, and also infrastructure projects. Its floor care and cleaning division includes products like its vacuum cleaners, their canisters, bags, and also a line of specific cleaning products. In addition to its home brand, Tektronix also designed manufacturing and also supply products under contract manufacturing for other brands. But interestingly, the most famous power tool brand, Milwaukee, is a direct subsidiary for the company. Its power equipment division is also its larger division, accounting to more than 90% of the sales last year. But both the power equipment business and floor care and cleaning business register strong growth of around 37% and 15% respectively in 2021. Tektronix is also focused on R&D to ensure that its product will always be progressing in capability. For example, while Cordless Power 2 has existed for decades, Tektronix is one of the first few companies to transition to lithium-ion battery technology. Compared to other legacy technology, lithium-ion are much smaller in size and lighter in weight and they typically have a longer runtime and does not self-discharge. And the importance of cordless power tool now extends far beyond just simple ease of use and efficiency. The company introduced a swappable battery ecosystem, such as the Milwaukee Red Lithium platform and also its Roby One system. That really drastically increased the customer stickiness to those brands. Tektronix battery are now interchangeable across particular brand products. And this allow customers to really stick to one brand across all its power tools needs. And the sales of different capacity of battery also serve as a new revenue stream for the company. Despite the global pandemic, 
Tektronix supply chain is still functioning well after a small period of minimal disruption. And during the pandemic, the company actually saw a surge in demand for its DIY tools, especially through its e-commerce channels. The company was actually founded by Mr. Hoss Puntwill and also Professor Roy Chung back in 1985. And both of them are still active in the management of Tritronix and own an equity stakes of 20% and 5% respectively. Currently, Mr. Putt will serve as the chairman and focus on the strategic planning and development of the group, while Professor Chung serves as a non-executive director. Mr. Putt will's son, Stephen Putt will, is also serving as the vice chairman for Tractronix. He is responsible for managing, improving and monitoring the internal operation. Right now, he also has a 2.5% equity stake in the company. And the company is run by Mr. Joseph Galli Jr., its CEO. Prior to joining Tektronix, Mr. Galli Jr. actually held high management position in companies like Black & Decker, Amazon.com, and Nguyen Rubbermaid. He now has a 0.9% equity stake in Tektronix as well. Therefore, most insiders in the company still have a good stake in its future. And there's really much more to be optimistic about for Tektronix Industries. 2021 was an epic year with organic sales growth of around 35% for the company. Sales grew from just 9.8 billion to 13.2 billion in 2021. And not only did the company grow its business, it did so of improving its gross margin and net margin as well. Gross margin improved about 39%, while its net profit surged 37%, to 1.1 billion in 2021. The company Milwaukee brand is now the number one and fastest growing global brand of power tools in the market, while Ryobi is the number one DIY tools and cordless outdoor equipment brand worldwide right now. And what's even more remarkable is that Tektronix has managed to deliver 13 consecutive years of growth in terms of its sales and also net income. So if we look at this valuation, Tractonic share is now trading at around 24.6 times its earnings, with a dividend yield of 1.6%. While Chinese technology stocks are now shredded by investors in the Hong Kong market, there are still many high-quality businesses trading on the exchange, and Tectronix is definitely one of them. Share has risen over 250% over the past five years, definitely rewarding the trust of long-term investors. So, I do feel that this company is certainly one to watch. So there you have it. That's my video on Tektronix Industry. Do you like this company or are you a shareholder? Share your thoughts with us below. And if you've gotten value from this video, please give us a like and share it with a friend who you might think will benefit from it as well. And do take a look at our sponsor Seeking Alpha. We really hope that you'll support us by supporting them. As always, till we meet again, my name is Stanley, invest safely.